Oh, hello, this is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create interesting and exciting flavor by just using the raw ingredients without using any other seasonings. So when every dish starts out with the raw ingredients, it is important for every cook to make sure that all the ingredients are fresh. Well, since I could not be there to help you to find the best and the fresh ingredients, I'm going to give you some guidelines that I follow that allow you to coax the most natural flavor from the ingredients that you have on hand. Well, the first guideline I learned from my chef friend, uh, who told me that uh, first of all, make sure you taste the vegetable before you cook them. Uh, he has two reasons for that. Number one, he said, if you taste the raw vegetable, you can compare it with the cooked vegetable and know what the natural flavor is like. And secondly, this is a good way to test the freshness of the vegetable. Uh, this guideline has helped me uh, in many different types of vegetables that I used in the past. I think the most notable one is a tomato. It is very easy to tell the difference between a tomato that is homegrown versus a tomato that you bought in the supermarket. The freshness is clearly very different. Uh, the second guideline is to make sure uh, you brown your ingredients. Uh, this is a process is important in generating flavor molecule on the surface of the ingredients and it is also known as the Maillard reaction and stir fry is an excellent technique for this process. Uh, the third guideline is not to overcook or undercook your uh, ingredients. This is particularly true with vegetables. Uh, if you overcook them, you tend to deplete the flavor of the vegetable. But if you undercook them, you also uh, might leave the potential of the vegetable's flavor not being achieved. Uh, the fourth guideline is always to create a dish with an ingredient as the primary focus of the dish. And then you use other ingredients to supplement it to enhance uh, the flavor of the primary ingredient. Well, over the years, I have experimented in combining different ingredients together. And by trial and errors, I gradually st to start to understand what goes with uh, what. And ultimately, I find the combination that I enjoy most. So what actually you're doing is that you are playing with the natural flavor of the ingredients. The ingredients itself become the seasoning for your dish. And by manipulating these different ingredients, uh, it is inevitable you will come up with some really tasty and delicious dishes. Actually, you look at the best restaurant uh, across the United States and around the world. Uh, the dishes that they create are all based on the flavor of the natural ingredients. Uh, many of them do not use a lot of seasonings. And it is that natural flavor that gives the dish the best signature that make them famous. So as you can tell, prepping in advance is important for you to achieve this type of uh, approach in combining different ingredients together. If you prep strategically, you will then have a lot of opportunity to try and to experiment with different type of combinations. So as you can see, uh, in addition to efficiency, prepping in advance is actually part of the fun and pleasure of cooking. It allows you to be creative because you now, like an artist, you have the prep just as the paint on your palette for you to use in different combinations to create your masterpiece. Uh, with this approach, uh, you can think from the standpoint that uh, seasoning uh, begins with your ingredients. Then you start to build upon it with other seasoning agents, uh, which I will uh, discuss in other videos. 